Welcome, everyone, to the Daily Juice Podcast on the Betting Pros Network. I'm your host, Sean, stacking the money green. Give me a follow on Twitter, at Sean T. Green. And as always, Daily Juice being brought to you by BetMGM. Use the promo code JUICE. And a $10 bet turns into $200 in free bets. If either team scores a touchdown, good for college and pro football. Hey, 3-0. and Let's go. Nice bounce back from injury gate. Although, you know, everyone just... It, it, the conspiracy... People just throw gate on everything. It's super, super lazy. So apologies. Injury fest, injury palooza. Felt good to cleanse the palate with a nice again. Three and zero always feels great. I got uh going all college basketball tonight. Got three picks. So let's get to it. All right. First up in the recap, Rockets plus six. Didn't even need it. They won outright. One eleven ninety seven. This Suns team just really, really looks off. I said maybe they get right uh, first game they get back home, but uh, yeah, I, I can't even put my finger on it. They just look bad. They made the Rockets look awesome. Uh, easy win for the Rockets here. Plus six, never a sweat. So apologies. I know the T-Gents love a good sweat. Get the heart heart moving there. Um, apologies. I love the move where I pretend to be sorry where my picks are so awesome. Uh, Memphis plus six and a half. Really? Uh, this is a good back and forth game. Alabama won 91 88, but Memphis got the cover. Memphis was always hanging in that game. Uh, so felt pretty good there on the plus six and a half. Now the Celtics, this was a sweat. This is, this is why I get into gambling, right? Celtics minus three and a half. This is I mean, this could be, it's uh, you know, this could be an Oscar winning movie. The hero Celtics come into town. They destroyed the Lakers. Oh no, wait, what? They had a 20 point lead. They completely blew it. They send it to overtime and then they start pulling it out. They're up by six. Oh no. Russell Wilson has a block. They cut it to four. Oh man. I just kept waiting for some garbage three to go in for the Lakers and them to backdoor that. Didn't happen. One by four points, 122, 118. The Lakers' uh, legs look comically dead. I, again, Anthony Davis. Uh, well, first off, Russell Westbrook taking multiple threes in overtime. That's how. That's why I started feeling good about the Celtics bet again. And Anthony Davis, the guy who just doesn't jump when he's chucking up threes. It does. It reminds me like if I played a pickup basketball game right after leg day, that's what the Lakers look like in overtime. It was, it was bad. And the Celtics were dogging it too. Uh, again, maybe I sound like an old man, but I remember back in my day, NBA players were in shape, even in overtime, you know, all this scheduled rest. What are you guys doing? Come on. Hey, you guys want a uh, sweet jersey? Up, oh, of course you do. All you got to do is go to youtubecom pros, Hit subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. What are you doing? Perfect time to subscribe. Toss me a bone. youtubecom pros. Uh, comment on this video. Automatically enter to win a Stefan Diggs jersey. Why don't we? Uh, so why don't we talk uh, NFL Saturday? There's some Saturday games, uh, or no, the Thursday night football props. What's your favorite Thursday night prop? Uh, I'll, I'll be giving out one later as part of a little uh, promo there, but yeah, interesting game division battle, but, uh, yeah, let's get to the, uh, let's get to the college basketball picks Radford at VCU. I'm taking Radford plus 10 and a half. You can get that over on Unibet right now, Radford six and four. Uh, they've had some good losses. I know there's no losses that are good, uh, to Notre Dame and Marquette. So I six and four, but they played some solid basketball. They're twenty second in the nation in field goal percentage, pretty good from two and three. Uh, they're fiftieth in the country in offensive rating. Meanwhile, VCU is just horrible at offense, three hundred and thirty second in the country in offense. Now, obviously, they're they're a big favorite here because they're historically a better program. Uh, they play really good defense, but VCU, besides you know, three hundred thirty second in the country in offense. 29% from the arc. That's not, that's not going to work. If you're trying to cover 10 and a half against this Radford team, and it might not be a, a rivalry game for VCU. They may not see it as it, but Radford 
definitely, uh, you know, the Radford kids have a, they might be like, oh, VCU, you're too good for us. You know, there's some, there's some guys in Radford who probably a, a tried to get into VCU or were hoping to be recruited by VCU, didn't get in, a little chip on their shoulder, a little in-state rivalry. Love those situations. So give me Radford plus 10 and a half, especially on a random Wednesday night. I feel like he'll get Radford's best effort. New Mexico State plus 13 and a half at St. Mary's. Get that over on FanDuel. Both New Mexico teams are playing great. I mean, uh, University of New Mexico is undefeated right now, but New Mexico State is pretty good in and of their own right. Uh, five and three, pretty underrated in my mind. They're fourth in the nation in shooting three pointers. And again, you're giving me a team that's fourth in the nation in three pointers in a, you know, in a game against St. Mary's, uh, which I think they're going to be able to hit some threes fourth in the nation. And you're giving them 13 and a half points. New Mexico state also defends the three. Well, like that's, that's really how you get blown out. How do you get blown out? You don't play transition defense. You don't close out on three pointers and you can't make shots. Well, New Mexico state can hit shots and they close out on the three. Um, New Mexico state 57th in effective field goal percentage. Again, don't ask me to explain what effective field goal percentage is. I just know good offenses have it. New Mexico state is a really good offense. And I think historically the St. Mary's team kind of gets overrated because the narrative is like, Oh, well, you know, Gonzaga is obviously really awesome. And they are to a degree. They're going to blow it in the tournament. And then St. Mary's, they're the only other team that's really good. I don't know about that. You know, like they kind of cruise off that pedigree of being like the, you know, the, the second place team to Gonzaga and 13 and a half is just way too much. And New Mexico state better at the line. So you're giving me a ton of points, free points as I like to call them. And you get a team that's better at hitting free throws. I, I really think that's a great spot for New Mexico state. Hey, before we get to the last college basketball pick, shout out to sleeper.com. That's right. Sleeper.com slash daily juice head over there. You probably already have a league set up on sleeper for your fantasy football. Uh, it's a great platform. One of the fastest growing fantasy platforms customize a ton of stuff. It's, it's great. It's, it's really is pretty awesome for fantasy. Now they have integrated over under. So all these player props I talk about on the show, maybe you're in a state where you're like, Hey, they don't have traditional online sports books. This is a great way to get involved. Sleeper.com slash daily juice. Cause I, you know, I give out props all the time. And again, like I said, maybe you don't have access to a book uh, that offers them because uh, gambling isn't legalized or whatever the situation is in your state. Uh, Sleeper is available in a ton of states with their over under game. And if you go to sleeper.com slash daily juice, hundred percent deposit bonus up to $100. So you're combining these uh, player props, essentially like a player prop parlay. You can win two X all the way up to 20 X. If you go five and O oh on your over unders, they even have them like integrated, uh, into like the, the fantasy platform, which is really fun. Cause, uh, anytime I'm playing it and you, you see the guy you're going up against in like the fantasy playoffs, like why not also take the unders on the guys he's trotting out? You're already going to be rooting for it. So uh, it's really fun. It's really fun to combine these. You, you can even bet on, uh, how many fantasy points a guy will have over under on that. So so many ways to get down on the action sleeper.com slash daily juice. And they have college NFL NHL. I'll toss out a, a free run. I'm, I'm almost certainly going to be giving this out tomorrow as official play, but um, Christian McCaffrey over 39 and a half receiving yards for the 49ers. Love this situation. Seattle is really, really horrible. Um, as far as like fantasy points allowed to the running back, Brock Purdy has something going here with Christian McCaffrey and Debo is out. So there's like a ton of things going right for this, uh, for this scenario for Christian McCaffrey receiving yards over 30 and a half. If you want to tail sleeper.com slash daily juice, and it's easy to tail other people's picks. You can just hit copy. It's got that like group chat, uh, feel last pick of the night. The UCLA Bruins catching one and a half at Maryland in, uh, over on bet MGM. UCLA eight and two Maryland also eight and two UCLA. They only lost to Illinois and Baylor. So again, they're they're you know, a top team, Maryland, uh, a little bit of a surprise here and they have lost two in a row. So I, I think this is a good spot for UCLA 29th in the nation in assists, 13th in offense, Maryland, not as good of an offense, uh, 47th in the country. This could be a massive get up spot for Maryland. However, I'm betting against it. I like UCLA. I like their experience in big games. Like a lot of these guys on the UCLA team have seen like legit, 
you know, conference tournament action, legit uh, March Madness action, like massive games. And I, I don't think they're going to be, you know, feel overwhelmed by the moment. And Maryland has lost two in a row. So, you know, a team that may be flying a little high. Now they've lost two in a row. That's got to seed some doubts in there. And I think their confidence could be a little rattled. And I just think UCLA is the better team. They're getting points. I don't mind the situation at all. So give me UCLA plus one and a half at Maryland over on bed MGM. Give me New Mexico state plus 13 and a half over at St. Mary's on FanDuel Radford plus 10 and a half at VCU. Get that over on Unibet. Uh, follow us on TikTok at betting pros. Follow me on Twitter at Sean T green. Um, I'm sure you guys saw the uh, news coach. Mike Leach passed away. I was fortunate to uh, interview him. It was like six times on my other show, the sports gambling podcast. The guy was just truly amazing. Got to hang out with him once up at Washington state. Um, You know, and again, as like a, as a, you know, young upstart podcast for him to like, accept our show, accept us and, and kind of give us our blessing really meant a lot. And he, he was, he was a really great guy from all the interactions I had with him. And there's so many awesome Mike Leach stories. Uh, We did a entire episode just dedicated to Mike Leach, um, you know, kind of giving him a, a tribute. And if you haven't heard uh, some of the, I mean, there's just so many good stuff on uh, YouTube and, and uh, we, we kind of put together a bunch of stories. So um, really great. If you're, if you're not, familiar with him. If you are, I highly recommend uh, checking out the Mike Leach tribute. All right. That'll do it for the show. You guys know what to do. Subscribe, rate and review. And as always, don't forget to let it ride.